Welcome back to the channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. Uh, and uh, you can find my advice on how to pass actuarial exams at smarturl.it forward slash pass. Uh, you can uh, purchase my uh, exam FM manual at smarturl.it forward slash btdt-fm. The actuarial program at Illinois State University that I direct is at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And if you would like to make a tax-deductible donation to support our students, you can go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. This is a problem for today. Betty borrows 19800 from Bank X. Betty repays the loan by making 36 equal payments of principal at the end of each month. She also pays interest on the unpaid balance each month at a nominal rate of 12% compounded monthly. Immediately after the 16th payment is made, Bank X sells the rights to future payments to Bank Y. Bank Y wishes to yield a nominal rate of 14% compounded semi-annually on its investment. What price does Bank X receive? Note that we assume that um, Bank Y um, gets the rate of return that it wants. So the equal principal payments are 19,800 divided by 36, so 550. The interest payments are 198, then 19250, then 187, and, and so on, decreasing by 550, the 1% interest on principal repaid in the previous period. So every time it decreases by that amount. Immediately after the 16th payment, the future payment stream consists of 20 level payments of 550, along with decreasing interest payments of 110. 104.50 and so on, and decreases every time by uh, that amount of 5.50. The amount that Bank Y will pay to Bank X is the present value of those remaining payments discounted at the yield of 14% compounded semi-annually, or just 7% per half a year. Um, but the payments are made monthly. So to make the two consistent, it is best to calculate the effective monthly interest rate Bank Y receives, which is 1.27216 minus 1. And the reason for that is because 1 plus J, that monthly rate, to the 6 has to be equal to 1.07. So here's the rate. And it's a little bit of a 1%, which makes sense because you have 7% per half a year. Uh, the present value we're looking for, uh, therefore, is the level payments of 550 uh, discounted at the interest rate we, we found uh, as an annuity over 20 years. So the present value of that annuity, that's why I said discounted. And then 550 as a decreasing annuity because... The, no, the annuity decreases by 550 every step. So it's a 550 multiple of a regular decreasing annuity. And then we substitute the formula for the decreasing annuity, 20 minus A angle 20, at the interest rate of 1.134%. And we just plug in all the values. And... Uh, have our answer of 10857.31, which is answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material uh, and exercises from all exams of a society of actuaries or casualty actual society belong to those societies, uh, while the solutions are mine. And good luck with your studies and good luck on the test.